Hi, welcome to Technology, Society, and Human Experience. My name is Chris Bonlenzo. I'll be the professor of this course. Um, what we're going to talk about in this first introductory lecture is just basically what the course is about, why it's important, and what our goals for the course are going to be. So, what the course, what we're going to do in the course. Um, overall, basically, we're going to try to answer one really important question, which is, in what ways do the technologies we use every day lead to our happiness and fulfillment, and in what ways do those technologies make our happiness and fulfillment harder to achieve? Um, it's a really important question. Uh, in, if you've ever taken a course with me before, sociology, I always feel like, needs to be about our lives and how good of a life we can possibly have, how fulfilling a life, how happy we can possibly be. Society is the context in which we live our lives, but just understanding society for society's sake leaves a little bit out. I think it needs to be about how we can have happy and fulfilling lives and how that context impacts that. In this course, we're going to look specifically at the technology that we have and how that impacts it. Um, what we're going to do, so that's going to be the overall sort of guiding principle of the course, the guiding question. Each week what we're going to do is look at a particular human need from Abraham Maslow's um, hierarchy of needs. So we'll look at the need that we have for sleep, the need that we have for nutritious food, the need that we have for physical movement, for connection with other people. Each week we'll look at a different one of those needs and look at how our technological environment um, either helps or hinders, and usually, depending on the technology, it's going to be a mix of those things, how it helps or hinders us meet those needs. Um, those needs being what ultimately we need to have met in order to have those happy and fulfilling lives that we're after. Um, so each week we will kind of take a look at one piece or another of, uh, of that bigger question. That's what we're going to do in the course that answers this first question. Second question, why this is important. Um, obviously having a happy and fulfilling life is just is what everybody is, um, is trying to get. But the reality is that right now in 2024, when I'm um, recording this video, uh, less than half of Americans report being very satisfied with their lives. Um, which means that despite having access to more technology than people have ever had, most people in America are not satisfied with the way their, their life is going. Um, which means we've got a lot to learn about how we can use our technology or, in some cases, ditch our technology in order to have the satisfying lives that we want to have, in order to meet those Maslow needs that we are all trying to meet. Um, that's it for the second question. Third question, what are the goals of the course? Um, and here, hold on one second, let me adjust my, adjust my script. Um, the goals of the course are basically two. Um, let me get out of your way so you can see this. First of all, to understand technology's impact on um, meeting those needs and how, specifically, how we can utilize technology in order to meet those needs. I, you know, I talked about the fact just a minute ago that we might have to ditch some of our technology or put limits on it or use it in more specific ways. Right now, the way most of us, um, the way most Americans uh, incorporate technology into our lives is we find out about it, it sounds cool, we adopt it. And there's not a lot of thought about, well, so let's, what will the specific impacts of this be on meeting my needs for sleep, meeting my needs for connection with other people? Um, in this course, we're going to slow that whole process of adoption down and be able to reflect on, so what does it look like this particular technology will do or our technologies in general? How will they impact meeting those needs? Um, so first of all, that's understanding technology's impact. The second thing is to then 
develop the habit, we'll, we'll be going through this together week by week, but by the end of it, we will have hopefully developed the habit of um, being thoughtful about how we're going to incorporate each new technology into our lives. Um, so that when you go away from this course, there are some cognitive habits in place that will allow you to assess on your own. So does this seem like this is going to be good for me? What are the questions I need to be asking so that this technology doesn't lead me in the direction of, you know, entertainment or fun or, you know, in some cases, more stress in my life than, um, than is going to lead to that fulfilling life. We want to order our decisions around that question of what is a fulfilling life for me? Um, that's it. That's what we're going to do in the course. Um, for the rest of this week, we're just going to really simply define those big concepts. What, how are we going to define technology? How are we going to define society? And how are we going to define human experience? Um, we're going to actually do this in um, reverse order. So we're going to start out with human experience. We'll talk about that in the next lecture. I'll see you then.